I would love to tell you something about uh, uh, about uh, uh, what we are doing and these uh, problems we are facing. Yeah. First of all, museums are uh, kind of controversial. From one side, we have to preserve, we have to uh, hold, uh, to hold, to keep, and from the other side, we have to make everything accessible. We have to communicate. Of course, we, museums are temples, museums are storages, museums are people where wise people meet. Museums are schools and museums create taste. Museums are symbols of power and museums is, uh, are our working places. And all these functions, museums embody by on on collection basis, on collection basis. So we two, two of us, Kaspers and me, we had dream. First, this dream was embodied in such a wonderful sketch design. Rem Colas made it for Contemporary Art Center, uh, Contemporary Art Museum, Riga. Unfortunately, crisis killed this project, and where we are now? We are having one storage for uh, more than 300 artworks. And these artworks are different from just a flash containing video installation um, to uh, such a scale work that needs 400 square meters. And it includes engine of a plane, a hype of shit, uh, painting and video. Uh, of course, uh, I'm going to speak about risks and problems. And first of all, we have to define what is risk and what is problem. Risks are things that can happen in future and which are necessary to prevent, reduce, or they need to be avoided. Problems are those who have already taken place. So, what kind of problems for us collection keepers are? Of course, connected with space, money, and in our case, with ownership, because the collection for future contemporary art museum is divided in two big parts. One belongs to ABLV Bank, and another part belongs to the state of Latvia. And in fact, um, it is in, a in the balance of the Ministry of Culture. So you can imagine that all my artworks have inventory numbers. And every year, people from the Ministry are coming with these stupid machines to scan all the artworks. And it's absolutely against all conservation and preservation principles uh, because these inventories have, uh, have to be stick to the artworks. I never allow it, I better die. So, but still I have to uh, create system how to, uh, so I have to repack them every time and put another inventory number on, on the box or somewhere else. Because of this ownership, because the National Art Museum is only a temporary holder of the collection. Of course, uh, problems ex uh, connected with exhibiting and what is the main uh, factor connected with expertise and professional care. In September, we had a nice exhibition, really wonderful exhibition from our collection, the state part, the ministry part of collection. And for example, this uh, artwork, which um, gave the name to the whole uh, exhibition, Light at the End of the Cable, um, could be installed only thanks to father of the artist. And, but he is becoming more elderly and elderly. So nobody knows what will happen in future because the father is the only person can who can recreate this artwork. Next, Jan's Garange horoscope, a nice, uh, wonderful 3D um, stereoscopic uh, video installation. 
I got it in CD. You can imagine what does it mean, CD? How to preserve this CD? Where to put this data? It's again a, a, a core problem. Next artwork was damaged during the previous, uh, uh, previous exhibition by curator. Uh, this wonderful My Friday contains all these bottles and uh, on the bottom there are video recorders. So, the workers just took away everything, yeah? And uh, now, luckily, the artist herself is going to reconstruct the uh, way how not to let uh, something that happen again. Look, this, this, these are these videos. But my main story will tell you about wonderful work. I'm not going to give any kind of solution how to deal with this, because I'm old. You come in, in my place and you have to cope with this problem. And this problem is uh, Kaspar's Pudniex. The cow, wonderful artwork. So you can see two big lamp televis uh, television sets. They are covered in a, such a nice clothes of uh, uh, cow skin. And a very massive, like iron bridge, uh, construction with engines. And this, uh, these two videos are floating round making circles. Uh, this is a very touchy story uh, created by artists in 2003 uh, because of dramatic fall of milk price. These cows were killed, so the skins cover the TV sets. And, uh, of course, these TV sets are essential. But when they stop working, I can't replace them by these plasma TVs, because where to put the skin? Of course, they do a lot of uh, documentation and uh, research. This is kind of uh, this is a um, this is a, just a simple simple card of inventory number. You can see how many parts it has. Of course, we collect all kind of information. Yeah. History, commentaries, electric devices, artwork maintenance. I have a, such a big manual written by Kaspar Skodniks to install the artwork. At the same time, nobody else but him can restore it. And thanks God, it's good for you if artist is available, he's still alive. So, this is a process how he, he does it. He is a very big and strong man. <laughs> and uh, of course he told me that these big buckets had to be in 30 uh, degree angle from this device. And only then you can fix this very place. And of course, if Kaspars is not available, of course I can go to pick mushrooms with all my documentation because, of course, it is absolutely complicated. You have to be the creator yourself to reconstruct it. And don't be afraid, don't be afraid, I'm going to work till my late years <laughs> and we wish Kaspar's good health. <laughs> and look, this is kind of instrumentation needed to construct this artwork. So these are problems. Of course, they are very many, much connected with the risks and the same. Connected with space, with money, with current ownership, with accepting, but more specific, risk of losing not only data, but especially digital data. So we have to think how we can help our museums who are obliged uh, to keep and to preserve, to investigate models, systems, how to make the conservation and registration and preservation work as good as possible. 
So, how to deal with this? And thanks to Hilke Hiob, we have a nice action plan. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, this is collaboration from both sides, curators and conservators. Curators, uh, they draw conservation principles. Idea, uh, original form, or part of original form. And restorer defines what are uh, is going to be done, how to uh, preserve this physical uh, condition, and what is needed to preserve it. After deserting it, uh, uh, how to, uh, to, what is the ideal situation in which the work of art should be included in the collection? So this decision making to include the artwork or not, it should be done in collaboration with restorers. Uh, thanks God for the contemporary art collection. We have an international experts committee and the Eva is a member, and you remember you know, how many times Syria, uh, um, Syria Helme is uh, telling us, stop, stop, we have the same problems when Kumu. Don't uh, be uh, very enthusiastic by, uh, about obtaining this artwork. It won't exist long. But the artwork is unique, it's brilliant. And what to do? And when the principles are drawn and the um, artwork is included, of course, uh, somebody thought that it's not worth reading books, but maybe it's worth reading books. So we have these artist interviews, restorers' opinions, scientific research, and professional literature. And D is to do everything to ensure long-term preservation. How? And now, uh, the main state and why I came here. We have to build a class, a real class, of contemporary art restorers and curators, and not only class, but a network. Exchange our ideas about practices, our theories. And of course, uh, we need, desperately need, uh, these uh, restorers of contemporary art for preservation, restoration, conservation, uh, with extensive knowledge of materials, physical and chemical changes in the spectrum in different conservation conditions, and also uh, very uh, smart in theories and philosophies of both, uh, on both of traditional art and contemporary art. And of course, they have to communicate, as in the case of all the Psalms and Iyaya, knowledge and skills to work with curators, artists, and their re or their representatives. We all uh, we know how it's hard to work with all of them, especially with widows. <laughs> so thanks a lot. I. <laughs> It was very short. <laughs> and now I give uh, the floor to, um, how to say, a That's hope. You no, know, a hope of my <laughs> my life, my student, David uh, Melbach. <laughs> and please ask questions now or later.